Hi there, this is Steven with Alpine Labs and in this video we're going to be giving you a tutorial on how to trigger a time lapse with your Pulse. So you want to open up the app and then uh, in this case we're already connected to Pulse and then you want to select the third option down which says time lapse. From here you'll see the time lapse screen and there's a variety of parameters that you can adjust. The first one is interval and this determines the frequency at which Pulse triggers photos over the course of the time lapse. So you can set it from anywhere from one second to five seconds to up from there. And then the second parameter is duration, and this is the overall length of your time lapse. So with this, you can start from anywhere from one minute and up from there. In this case, we'll just do four minutes. And then based on those selections, uh, the bottom of the screen will show the calculation of how many photos will be taken over the course of the time lapse, as well as the overall length of the time lapse once it's compiled at a rate of 24 frames per second. So once you have all that set, you're ready to go. And you can hit the start button. This will upload your time lapse settings to Pulse. And then you'll get your status menu, which will show the percentage of the time lapse that's already been done. Um, indicating the number of photos that have been taken as well as the amount of time that has elapsed over the course of the time lapse. And then from there, um, just one thing to note is that you can close out of the app, you can turn off your phone, whatever, it doesn't matter, your camera will still trigger the time lapse. It doesn't need to be connected to your phone during the course of that. So right now I'm just going to pause the time lapse real quick and show you the thumbnail settings, so you can go into the thumbnail and look at the previous image um, and check the histogram to make sure that the exposure is where you want it to be. Um, and this will just give you a sense of what your images are looking like for your time lapse. And so then if we keep the time lapse going, um, we can go into the top right where you see the three dots. Um, and this will give you the advanced settings for your time lapse. So you can go into camera settings and select um, either shutter speed, aperture, or ISO. Uh, and these can be adjusted during the course of the time lapse. So you can say, uh, have a slower shutter speed if the lighting conditions are different, or you can change your aperture or ISO. Um, and once you have changed the settings, there's a button at the bottom that says update settings. And once you click that, uh, they will transfer over to your pulse and this will update the settings in real time so that uh, your settings change during the course of the time lapse. Um, it might take a moment for those settings to adjust, um, but they should happen pretty quickly. So real quick, I'm gonna pause the time lapse and we're gonna go and show you the exposure ramping feature. So you can select exposure ramping and from here you can enable it with the, the button at the top and then there's a variety of parameters that you can select. So the first one is delay. And let's say you have an hour long time lapse that you're trying to trigger. You can change the start of the exposure ramping to begin at certain point through your time lapse. So you can, for example, adjust it to be five minutes into the time lapse or 10 minutes into the time lapse um, or however long you want to wait for it to begin ramping the exposure. And then you can set how long you want the exposure to ramp for. So if you have an hour long time lapse, you can have it ramp for 30 minutes and then it'll stop from there. This is great for a sunset or for an overnight shot or um, any condition where the lighting is changing over the course of the time lapse. And so then you can select the starting shutter speed, either a slow or a fast shutter speed, depending on which direction the light is, is going, either increasing or decreasing and then the ending shutter speed, um, and, uh, and then also the beginning ISO, um, depending on what ISO your camera could shoot at, as well as the ending ISO, uh, anywhere from 100 up from there. And so then at the bottom, you'll see um, it'll give you how many photos are gonna be taken during the course of the time lapse, as well as the EV change over the course of the exposure ramp to tell you how, how much the lighting exposure is going to change um, and then you can go from there um, so if you if you if you use the exposure ramping feature you just want to make sure that you have the appropriate settings that they don't conflict with your overall time-lapse settings your app may come up with an error if you have the wrong ones 
So then the final feature is the time-lapse delay feature, um, and this is basically just if you want to have the time-lapse start at a time uh, in the future. So you can have your time-lapse set to start 15 minutes from now, and then when you go ahead and say upload or start time-lapse, it will um, delay the start however long you set it to, um, to start from. So those are pretty much the features of, of the time lapse on Pulse. Um, we hope that you have a great time and have a lot of fun shooting time lapses with your Pulse. Uh, we look forward to seeing the results of your, your experimentation. Uh, if you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to contact us at, uh, at our website or via email. We're happy to help and thank you for watching.